he uh <clears throat> I think he even made up the name Jessica. I know they made up the name Wendy for Peter Pan. Really? Yep. Huh. That's not even very long ago. And here I thought Wendy was like a ancient name. It means to wend. Those those uh snakes are jerk faces. Are they wearing ties? It looks to me like they're wearing collars and ties. I have no idea. But they attack those frogs and take all their <clears throat> energy. It does look like they're wearing like Fred Flintstone shirts, basically. Maybe they're they kinda look like they're snakes and sacks. I mean, the second thought that I had is that they're shedding their skin. I don't know. I don't know, man. Alright. Now, how do we go see Melchior? He's over. Wait. He's in the future. Okay, do we know where Medina Village is? Yeah, it's across the sea this way. Can we hop a ferry? No, there's no ferries in here. If I could just, like, swim that little channel right there. There's no ferries in the past? I don't think so. There were ferries in the present. I know. Go to the docks. Oh, we did. No, I didn't see any earlier, because that's what I was wanting to do. There's a cafe, and that's it. <sighs> so disappointing. Yeah. Right button, yes. You can like buy jerky for like ten thousand dollars and give it to her. Well, that's back at the bar in the present, isn't it? He's selling just ridiculously expensive jerky. Yeah, I think there's a cheaper way to get it, but I'm not sure. I remember because way back in episode one, when I talked to that guy, and he was like, "Buy my nine thousand nine hundred ninety-eight gold piece jerky," and you went, "Don't do it," as though I somehow had, had that the money. Much money. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to protect you from. You didn't do the thing. You got to do the thing. I forgot the thing. I remember there was a thing, but I forgot what the thing was. <laughs> Oh, it was it sealed with the mysterious energy. That was it, right? And then you started adding my lord to the back of it for no good reason. <laughs> sealed with the mysterious energy, my lord. But way more dramatic. Than that. <sighs> You'd like do pauses for effect and do this like really dramatic intake of breath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll work on that. I'll work. I'll get back. Back. We'll have my, to review the tape. So right, my old form. Examine your technique. Ugh. Hmm. I don't think there's any fairies. Oh, wait, there's... Yeah, here it is. I know what to do. There's a time portal over here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of there. Oh, these... I, I feel bad about killing these guys. I feel bad about killing the rabbit. Killing the guys kicking the rabbit around, I'm okay with that. The Rolly Rider? That's what they do. The imps. <clears throat> I feel sorry, but I don't want to kill the Rolly Rider even less. But the imps, they're kind of grumpy, but I don't think they're straight up evil. They're just like, get out of here. I'm going to kick some dirt and some rocks at you. Get out of here. And then you just, like, destroy them. <laughs> to be fair, there's a lot of times that I'd really like to do that. Somebody's just like, hurry up, I got places to be, and I'm like, yeah, now you're dead. Man, I, maybe video games really do make you more aggressive. Well, that's that's a, been proven that they increase your aggression. It's just that they don't. There's there's no proof that they make you a bad person. But yeah, they definitely increase your uh, testosterone and aggression levels. 
I don't think Chrono Trigger probably substantially does so. Uh, it does when you get me all worked up about murdering amps. Yeah, or when I die fighting somebody like five times, and then I'm ready to murder everyone. <laughs> All right. This is go to. That's where I want to go, but not right now. I want to see if this dude has something to say. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, you will. Argos is a pretty freaking tough battle. The end of time reminds me of Victorian England. <laughs> These guys are like, hey dude, what's up? Hey, just came out of my cupboard? Cool. Right, the underlying racism issue in this game. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and the whole cult thing. There's Magus. Look at those graphics. Yeah. It's resting at his feet. Uh, magical jewels? I guess. Are you talking about the purpley sparkly blue balls? Yeah, it's <laughs> blue balls. There's definitely a a sister brother dynamic going on between Magus. I'm not saying it's it's not like Sword Art Online or anything <laughs> like that. And just there's, there's definitely a brother sister dynamic going on. It's just kind of a Japanese thing. There's no getting away from it. Yeah. What is he? What is his face doing? I think he's having a seizure. That's like it's like the perfect <clears throat> metronome seizure, though. You're back again. Come to see my collection. The the sword. It's the Masamune. How did you get it? Why would your name be on that sword? Best music of the game, right here. It's a long story. You do want to hear this story, right? Yes, tell us about the Masamune. Can, can you fix it somehow? <laughs> hmm, it might be possible if we could get our hands on some dream stone, which the sword is made of. Dream stone? No data in my memory bank of such a rock. I can't find it anymore. It was a red stone that was once used as money. Unfortunately, it hasn't been available for a very long time. Inflation will do that. Yeah, like 65 million years of inflation. <clears throat> sure, what you got? <laughs> I know you'll ever find that thing that you're looking for, but hey, you buy some stuff. Look at all of these things that I have for sale. Whew, that red katata looks good, though. Now, he just got done saying that we couldn't find red stuff, and yet he's selling <laughs> red swords. Right there, huh? Yeah, it's, it's insulting, is what it is. It really is. It's even magical. <laughs> what kind of a lying sack of crap is this guy? Melchior's awesome, dude. He's, dude, he's awesome. I hey, mean, wait. He's selling a plasma gun, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, I might get ten of these, just... 
an even 20 for more of those. Uh, have the OCD at work. Oh, yeah. All right. Equip these puppies. How is a gold helm even a thing? I don't know, but visually it sounds really cool. Well, I mean, one of my predecessors is Pope had a full suit of gold armor. Which is like the coolest thing in the world. Not exactly combat effective. What about like gold, uh, gold leaf on a steel or iron suit of armor? Well, I mean, steel would be better. I don't know why you... That's why because they didn't really have steel until probably later than 600 AD. I guess this is 1000 AD, so maybe very few people had steel. Doesn't like Damascus steel the first steel? Um, you know my uh, knowledge of smithing is woefully deficient. Damascus steel, I believe, is supposedly just like the best crafted steel ever and no one knows what technique they used anymore yeah I, I have no idea I I do I was thinking that the the very first steel that they were using was and don't this is not you shouldn't quote me on this at all but I will they had uh, they were just pounding uh, co what they called coke which is just like coal the into the iron and making it steel, but they're pounding it in rather than making it, you know, just straight up steel with the, what is steel is iron and graph coal um, or graphite or something. It, it, it's superheated iron that, uh, but they, they put carbon in it or like, like coal or carbon or something like that and it mix it with it. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. I just know I, that they heat the crap out of it and somehow get the imperfections out. 